Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video we shine the spotlight on the incredible life of Barbara Walters including the little known behind the camera details. Barbara Walters, the legend television news broadcaster and longtime ABC News anchor and correspondent who shattered the glass ceiling and became a dominant force in an industry once dominated by men, died Friday the December 30, 2022. She was 93 years. Such a big loss to the media fraternity. Walters joined ABC News in 1976, becoming the first female anchor on an evening news program. Three years later, she became a co-host of 2020, and in 1997, she launched The View. She was a one-of-a-kind reporter who landed many of the most important interviews of our time, from heads of state to the biggest celebrities and sports icons. In a career that spanned five decades, Walters won 12 Emmy Awards, 11 of those while at ABC News. She made her final appearance as a co-host of The View in 2014, but remained an executive producer of the show and continued to do some interviews and specials for ABC News. Barbara Jill Walters was born in Boston on September 25, 1929, to Dina and Louis Walters. Her father worked in show business as a booking agent and nightclub producer, and discovered comedians Fred Allen and Jack Haley, who would go on to star as the Tin Man in the classic film The Wizard of Oz. Growing up around celebrities taught a young Barbara a lesson that she relied upon throughout her career. I would see them on stage looking one way and off stage often looking very different. I would hear my parents talk about them and know that even though those performers were very special people, they were also human beings with real life problems, Walters said in a 1989 interview with the Television Academy of Arts and Sciences. I can have respect and admiration for famous people, but I have never had a sense of fear or awe. In her 2008 memoir audition, Walters revealed that she got her ambition to succeed from her older sister, Jacqueline, who was born developmentally disabled. Her condition also altered my life, Walters wrote. I think I knew from a very early age that at some point Jackie would become my responsibility. That awareness was one of the main reasons I was driven to work so hard. But my feelings went beyond financial responsibility. After graduating from Sarah Lawrence College in Bronxville, New York, in the 1950s, Walters found work as a publicist and television writer, before landing a spot as a writer on NBC's Today Show in 1961. She would become the program's first female co-host in 1974, and won her first Emmy Award the following year for Outstanding Talk Show Host. In 1976, Walters found a new home on ABC's Evening News, making history as the first female co-anchor of an evening news program. At ABC, her interviews were wide-ranging and her access to public figures, unparalleled. She also developed a reputation for asking tough questions. In 1999, an estimated 74 million viewers tuned in to watch Walters interview Monica Lewinsky about the former White House intern's affair with then-President Bill Clinton. Toward the end of the interview, Walters asked Lewinsky, what will you tell your children when you have them? Lewinsky replied, mommy made a big mistake to which Walters quipped, and that is the understatement of the year. Walters also interviewed every U.S. president and first lady from the Nixons to the Obamas. She interviewed President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump before they entered the White House. With The View, she created a forum for women of different backgrounds and views to come together and discuss the latest hot topics in the news, a format that has since been widely imitated by other networks. Walters was married four times to three different men, she wed Merv Adelson, a television producer and real estate developer, twice, and adopted daughter Jacqueline Danforth with second husband Lee Goober, a theater producer and owner. She named her daughter after her sister, writing in her memoir that she wanted Jackie to feel that she, too, has a child, because I knew by this time she never would. After 25 years in television, she was inducted into the Television Academy Hall of Fame in 1989 and was presented the award by Peter Jennings, then the anchor and senior editor of ABC's World News Tonight. Part of ABC News headquarters in New York was renamed the Barbara Walters Building in May 2014. During the ceremony, Walters accepted the honor, saying, People ask me very often, what is your legacy, and it's not the interviews with presidents, or heads of state, nor celebrities. If I have a legacy, and I've said this before and I mean it so sincerely, I hope that I played a small role in paving the way for so many of you fabulous women. What do you remember Barbara Walters for? Leave your comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel for more of such videos.